points of access with fill a point. Today we're going to cover a little add-on that's from TextHelp for Chrome browser and it's called Equasio. I really like this product and I want to show you some of the features right away. I'm here in Google Docs with my untitled document and I'm going to show you a tool that's great for putting math content into Google Docs. I have two extensions from TextHelp. One is called Read and Write and one is called Equasio. And between the two, I can make a more accessible math environment for students. First thing I'm going to do is show you how Equasio works. I'm going to click on this and it puts Equasio down here at the bottom. I don't have a full membership to this software for the premium features. I won't be talking about those right now. I'm just going to talk about the free version and what you get with it. First of all, here is Equation Editor. I click on the symbol here and it brings up a screen where I can type mathematics in. I can also use the tools over here and insert math operators. I click on this and I want to use any of these symbols I can just add it in. So down here if I have three and then I click on this and put three to a certain subscript you see it types in the rest of the equation for me. Whatever equations that you want to make you can make that way. You can see there's a whole bunch of symbols that are useful. There's also functions that you can use and Greek letters of course to create mathematics. Once you're done with your equation you can click insert math and it puts it right here into the Google Doc. Now if I have read and write on I can click on this icon and it's going to give me this drop down. I can highlight that text and I can press play and it's going to read it. 3 sub AX The next thing we're going to look at is LaTeX and this is an editor that people who are working with mathematics and mathematics publication can use to type equations. They can use these formulas. This is exactly the same as this up here and so if you type in this formula in LaTeX it's going to give you that formula for your Google Doc. I've already typed in this formula here because I want to show you the graphic editor. I click on graphic editor and it's going to take the formula and plot it out here on a graph. So after you've created the graph you can also click insert graph and it's going to put that in your Google document as well. You should be able to resize it here by dragging these corner boxes. You can also see that you can add some text wrapping so you can type around it. And I'm finished with this so I'm going to delete it and we're working on the next tool which is the handwriting tool. But you see currently I have this formula that I just graphed and I need to delete that. So now I can write a new formula. And you see that it's easy to handwrite material into the document here. The next feature is using the speech input. So to do this, of course, you have to have a microphone. You click on this and you then click on record. But before I do that, I have to clear this equation out. And here we go a squared minus b squared equals c squared. And there's the equation. It pops right in. Once you have that equation, you want to insert it into your Google Docs. You need to click Insert Math. If you click on the formula 
and then come and click on pause up here. A squared minus B squared equals C squared. So this is a very useful tool for helping people learn mathematics or create mathematics for print and also to share in Google Docs. I understand that they're going to have other features such as chemistry and physics coming down the road. So be on the lookout.